let's take a look at the content link in our toolbar. When I click on content, I'm brought to a dashboard that lays out for me all the content on my site. I can filter it by published and unpublished. I can filter by content type, and we'll talk more about that as we go. Or I can search by any title and choose any language. Of course, we have no content yet, and so this page is a little limited. If I click on the sub-tabs here, I can see that there are no comments so far. And if I click on the word files, I'll have a listing of all of the files that have been uploaded into either an image field or some kind of file field. And again, we'll look at this in another video. For now, would you do the following exercise with me, please? Go ahead and click on Add Content. And let's add a welcome article to our homepage. Click on Article. And let's call this Welcome to Drupalville. Yes, the name of our site today is Drupalville. It's going to give us all kinds of information about Drupal. In the body, just go ahead and put something like, Welcome to our site. We're so glad you stopped by. Now, I'm not going to go into all of the fields and things here simply because we'll cover this in another video. For now, in the tags, put welcome, comma, Drupal. This will create links to a listing of all the articles that we give these tags to. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. We can also upload an image here. Let's go ahead and grab the Drupal 8 logo. You just go to google.com, Drupal 8 logo, and choose whichever one you want. I'm going to choose this one. It's not very big. We'll right click and say Save Image As, and then feel free to save that anywhere on your hard drive as long as you know where it is when we're finished. I'm going to click Browse and find that image I just grabbed. And you'll notice that as soon as I upload it, Drupal asked me for some alternative text, which is required. That's what that little red asterisk is for. And so Drupal takes this pretty seriously. Alternative text, of course, is what screen readers see, what blind people hear, and what Google finds when it looks at your site. This is the Drupal 8 logo. And click Save and Publish. Congratulations. You've just created your very first node on your new Drupal site. So now when I click on Content, the node is listed, the title, the content type, who created it, the status of the node, the last update time, and some operations that I can do, whether I want to edit or delete. And we'll cover those again in another video. And that's content in our administrative toolbar.